In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my biggest regret of 2023. And no, in no way is this some sort of pity party video, but I just wanna share from my mistakes so that you don't have to make the same ones again. That's my train. Today, I'm taking the train to Helsinki, which is about a three hour ride. So that means we got time to talk. I'll be helping out my friend build out his personal brand, which is really exciting because I feel like ever since I started Creator Autonomy, my live cohort-based workshop about how to build a powerful personal brand, more and more opportunities are opening up for me to help other people build their personal brand. Oh, and by the way, Creator Autonomy round two is gonna open up in April, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. So what actually was my biggest regret of 2023? Looking back, my biggest regret was just taking so long to go for it. What do I mean by this? Well, in 2023, I literally had two goals. That was to launch my Cinemaluts and two, to start my very own live cohort based workshop. And when did these two happen? October and November of 2023. It's no coincidence that both of them happened at the end of the year because if I'm honest, I had been pushing them off all year long and the year before that. And I think the main reason why I kept pushing it off is because I'm such a perfectionist. I'm the type of person that wants to have all his ducks in a row, have everything ready and perfect before I launch something. But the problem with that strategy was that it just felt way too overwhelming to tackle the project as a whole. It was only until my friend Thormo opened my eyes. Most likely he was tired of hearing me just talking about my dreams and he asked me, well, what's the first step in reaching your goal? And in that moment, we decided that I should buy a domain name. And from a domain name, I made an interest website. And then I made the official website and started selling the course. And all of a sudden, within 72 hours, I had sold out already. If I wouldn't have just gone for it, none of this would have ever happened. And Creator Autonomy would still be just a far, far away dream that I talk about, but don't take any action for. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, Depo, this is really idealistic of you and really nice of you to say, just go for it. But it's easier said than done. And I totally agree with you. It's not easy pursuing your dreams when they just scare the the crap out of you and feel so overwhelming. So that's why I thought I'd share with you three lessons that I learned along the way that took the pressure off my shoulders and made it all possible. The first lesson that I learned is that whenever you wanna reach your dreams, you gotta take it step by step. Because whenever you have a big audacious dream, it's gonna feel very scary and overwhelming. It's gonna feel like this huge giant in front of you. That's why it's much better to reach your dreams by taking one step at a time rather than trying to tackle it all at once. For me to think about creator autonomy as a whole and to think about all the different tasks that I would have to take care of would have just been crippling. It would have never happened. But when I just took it one step at a time, all of a sudden it was achievable. Not only was it a lot less overwhelming, but as well, it created a lot more momentum because I feel like every time I was able to achieve one step in the whole process, it gave me that feeling of winning and that I was moving forwards. Whereas if I just try to tackle the whole project at a once, it would feel like I'm not going anywhere even though I would be taking steps forward but because I'm just thinking about it as a whole project, it just would feel so big and daunting. Taking it step by step was a small mindset shift but for me, it was a game changer. The second lesson that I learned was that it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it's much better to just get it out there, learn from your mistakes and from the feedback that you get and just do it all over again and make it better. Someone who spends a whole year creating just one product and then finally releasing it versus someone who created four versions of that product, it's gonna be a totally different end result. The person just releases that one product, A is probably gonna make a lot less money and in the end have a lot worse product Whereas the person who's done four versions of that product is gonna have made a lot more money and in the end have a much better product because he's been able to learn from all his mistakes along the way and from all the feedback that he's gotten. So stop trying to be perfect before you launch something. Instead, get in the habit of iteration. You wanna be able to just keep making things, making it better and releasing them out into the world because in the end, you're gonna have a much better final product. Number three, final lesson that I learned was failing forwards. I don't know about you, but I find the older that I get, the less I fail. And it's not because somehow I'm just so amazing. It's because I do less things nowadays where I could potentially fail at. I find that the older you get, you kind of just stick to things that you know that you're good at. Whereas when you're younger, you're exposed to all sorts of new things and even though you weren't good at it and there's a possibility of failing, at least you're trying and learning and growing all at the same time. And a huge part of it is just a fear of failure. We don't like failing as human beings. 
That's why nowadays I'm trying to adopt a new attitude of failing forwards. Meaning, instead of being afraid to make a mistake, I just go for it, and in the process, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of mistakes, but from those mistakes, I can have a humble attitude and learn from them and grow and move forwards. So in life, it's all about taking risks, failing a whole lot, but learning in the process. That's what failing forwards is all about. So right now, if you're watching this video and you know that in your heart, you just have this burning dream that you have to go for, I just wanna encourage you, go for it. Stop overthinking, stop being afraid to fail, and just go for it. Because the worst thing that will happen is that just doesn't work out, but at least in the process, you learned a whole lot from your mistakes and grew. And the best thing that could happen is that your dreams will actually become a reality. So if you ask me, I think the odds are in your favor when you just go for it.